The heat exchanger resides in the center of the unit. It's made of steel pipe that goes through a process called mandrel bending. Mandrel bending prevents the 11 meter long pipe from kinking as it turns into the shape of a coil. A welder fuses steel rods to the side of the coil, making the flexible heat exchanger suitably rigid. Next, a machine pumps a ceramic enamel through the pipe from the bottom up to ensure full coverage. This coating protects the interior of the pipe against corrosion. It takes about six minutes to fully coat the inside of the pipe and drain the remaining liquid. It takes about 15 minutes inside a furnace for the coating to cure and become rock hard. Now it's time to seal the heat exchanger inside an inner tank. They first set it down on a base, then cover it with a steel enclosure. It's this inner tank that holds the hot water. The tank then goes into a vertical press that pushes it down onto the base. A computerized arc welding machine welds the tank together. A technician then pressurizes the tank with air and, using water, he checks for leaks until he's satisfied there are none. He then pumps ceramic enamel into the tank and a tumble coating machine shakes up the corrosion resistant enamel fully coating the inside of the tank as well as the outside of the heat exchanger. A technician then inserts cold water inlet tubes into each tank. He also inserts aluminum anode rods to help protect the inside of the unit by absorbing corrosive elements in the water before they can attack the steel tank. After attaching all the plumber's fittings, he installs a second anode rod that gives the tanks double corrosion protection. Now they put on what's called a rolling foam stop that helps them fit a painted jacket over the shell and maintain it in place. Here, they attach the gas valve that's used to light the burner. A painted cover then goes on the top of the jacket. They connect a blower to the tank. The blower is what expels the burner's spent gases to the outside air. The next step is to hook up a burner to the gas valve. This burner is what heats the air that goes through the heat exchanger, which in turn transfers its heat to the water. A technician now fills the cavity between the inner shell and outer jacket with high density expanding foam. This foam insulation is about five centimeters thick and goes all around the circumference of the tank to prevent heat loss. The unit then gets a cosmetic cover that conceals the blower. Finally, a technician hooks up and tests each unit. He follows strict quality control standards which guarantee that the burner and all the fittings and connections are working properly. Only then is the unit ready for shipping. High efficiency water heaters can deliver all the hot water you need and save you money while they're at it.